Wait, 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 wait. Last we left. Bacon. Is bacon ready? I don't know. Bacon ready? Bacon. Bacon! You crunchy deliciousness, are you ready? It's alright. He, Demi, and uh, Jack's character are not going to be the focus for a little bit. Oh, fuck. So, uh. as you guys are getting ready to go, uh, suddenly a gal uh, that was walking on the street approaches you, Andrea. Oh, God. Because my character's still fiddling with the shotgun, awkwardly. Uh, excuse me. Did you drop this? Uh, I'm not sure. What is it? There's a wallet in her hand. Um, does it look like mine? Looks like it could be. Make me a perception alertness roll. Okay. Okay. All right. So, felt it for just a split second, almost like a wisp of wind through your, wind through your hair, but you don't notice anything particular. Is it yours? No, I don't believe it is. Oh, I apologize. Uh, I guess I'll leave it with the reception Good day. Oh. Hello, goodbye. I walk close enough to the lobby to look in through the window. Just watch her. Did my character feel the cold breeze? Just talking to the receptionist? Hmm? Does the re uh, receptionist look hypnotized? No. Unless you wish to make a roll. I would happily make a perception occult roll if you'll let me. Go ahead, make a perception occult roll. At what difficulty? Whatever difficulty you want. Okay, so you're just gonna... Um... There? Uh, what were you trying to find out? I was trying to see if the uh, receptionist is acting uh, hypnotized. Like, out of nope. it. Receptionist looks fine. Two points are to uh, one direction that way. The gal uh, goes down the wall. Uh, I do believe we were somewhere. Uh, this cow, cow girl. <laughs> Did you sense anything weird there? That was random, right? <laughs> I suppose. I mean, did you actually lose a wallet? I must, I'm just, I must be paranoid. Starting to see monsters everywhere. Let's just go. Yeah. So how does this thing work again? I know that this is the pull trigger. Thing. Don't this point it thing. at me! Point it out the window, <laughs> damn it! I'll take it away if you keep being a moron about it. it it's a fucking firearm, man! Sorry, I just don't handle much of these things nowadays. In my youth, I was, you know... I did go to the firing range and shoot Don't a point the hidden. business and at people you don't want dead. That's like the first fucking lesson. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Out the window. And didn't I tell you to keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot? God damn it. <laughs> Have you... When's the last time you held one? Let's see, uh... I don't know, uh... God, how long has it been, uh... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Keep your finger off the trigger, and don't try to shoot until I tell you it's time, okay? 
No, they don't really allow firearms on the campus. It's kind of strictly against the rules. Yes, and I'm sure they don't allow drinking in the classroom either, but you're just a rebel, aren't you? Well, I mean, <laughs> I was much of the bad boy in high school, if I do say so myself. Are you actually you know, I hate to trying to them, hate but, uh, on me? Oh, please don't. Please don't. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> but you know, you are very... You know. Oh, God, I turn on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Start driving. Yeah, my character's... My character just sets down the shotgun and pulls out a book. <laughs> this doesn't all right. seem ominous That's at right. all. <laughs> That's right. It's not ominous in any way. Nope. Plays ominous music. Let's see. I can't remember what these sounded like anymore. Uh, there we go. No, no. I changed the station immediately to country. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. And I start yeah, singing yeah. along with whatever comes on. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, my character closes his book and just sighs. Well, I guess I'm not reading anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just singing along with full voice while I'm driving. Windows rolled down. <laughs> there might be a yeehaw or two. Get in on it too. <laughs> My character just baseball taking a huge gulp of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are on the road. I'm just heading towards the address Bacon gave me. All right, so just over there. Uh, yeah, I assume I can see the other car somewhere in the general direction. Yeah, sure. So I don't actually have like a map or anything to send you to for him. Mm-hmm. So we'll just use this one. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, we need to start a grid by grid search. We're gonna split up into <laughs> I'm sorry, we're gonna have to arm Alfred and the kid. It's a big city and we have a lot of ground to cover, guys. <laughs> My god. Oh, uh, total number of missing persons cases uh, is officially in the 20s. But you managed to find a police report that <laughs> estimates there might be as many, as many as about 200 people that went missing this year in this area. Oh, fuck. Oh, my god. Okay, that's not a single oh, Vost. That's like 50. Oh, fuck. Guys, We're I dead. think I'm gonna need more bullets. <laughs> Just shove some candy in my mouth real quick. No, don't, don't, oh. They're like 15 years old. Oh. Why would you eat those? <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, it helps me think. <laughs> there was mold on that. Oh. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you city people are disgusting. You know the amount of things that I find on the ground at my school that are ten times more healthy than this? Just, if you're gonna you hurl... Like hurl if you're gonna hurl, aim out of the window, okay? Would you like a Reese's Pieces? 
It seems the kid is uh, rather distracted in the back seat. Oh, there isn't a back seat. This is a pickup. He's just squeezed next to Almorco on the passenger car. One. Most of them actually have a back seat. Does yours not? I would assume not. Alright. You're an old-fashioned type of truck. All yeah. Right. I mean, even if it did, I would want Walmart next to him because I want an eye on that fucker. Okay. He seems uh, to be trying to look at what's in the back of the seat. You see something there, little guy? Uh, is that gas? Yeah, in case I run out. Emergency stash. Oh, cool. See? There's a shovel there, <laughs> deeper in as well, in case I get stuck in the mud. Ah, you seem pretty prepared. Yeah, yeah. Travel all kinds of bad country roads. <laughs> so, little, uh, little, little, little lad, uh... Are you interested in history? Nobody's interested in history. Just tell him a fairy joking? tale or something. I guess I can uh, recount the story. Is he talking about the settlers and all that? And slaving the black oak, oak and all that? No, I have a no, feeling no. he's talking about Europe, of all places. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. King George. That character's gonna start speaking about history. The kid doesn't seem to be paying almost any attention to you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> at least there's a pretty lady to look at. <laughs> I reach over with one hand and button the, uh, <laughs> the top of my shirt closed. <laughs> 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 There's an awkward and silence. Then came the uh, yep, very awkward silence. Uh, you guys got I'm there. I'm presuming you shut character. down the truck. Uh, I just. My character's gonna grab, grab the shotgun, look at the lad. Come on, lad, I can start telling you more about the swinging 60s of Europe. Oh, God. So, what, what now? No! <laughs> Professor, no! 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 Oh, young years! Young years! Young years mean we filter what we say. That's what my daddy always told me. No. Just get out of the fucking car. Just get out of the fucking car and roll up the bloody window. Is the sun up at this point, by the way? Sun is coming up. Oh, thank God, we're safe for now. Unless it's a werewolf. <laughs> I want to trace, like, one very careful perimeter around Bacon's place, just trying to see any signs of danger. Go ahead, make me a roll. Perception alertness? The investigation. Alertness or investigation, either way. Well, then I'll go with alertness. There we go. Anything suspicious? Doesn't seem like it. Come back around. So, uh, what does the uh, what does the place actually look like? Looks like a church. Okay. <laughs> Same. My character set. just like looks around. And he's like, you know, to be honest, I don't really care for this whole religion thing. Yeah. Well, it seems safe enough for now. I guess we can go inside. Uh, just keep the boy away from the priests. I've heard stories. How about you keep the boy, since I bet I'm a much better shot than you, 
and just you keep an eye on him, okay? And I'll make sure no one molests you. Molest me? I'm a 36-year-old man. Pretty sure I'm far too old for them. You're only 36? Wow, I could have sworn you were in your 50s. Okay, well, moving on. I mean, maybe you should think about drinking a little bit less, you know, I'm just saying. Ah, okay, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Takes a gulp of his whiskey. Let's go, boy. <laughs> oh, God, you're just like Grandpa. The uh, boy follows you. <laughs> Wondering if you're like his dad. <laughs> I keep one hand close to my gun and I keep one hand close to my gun and just keep looking around making sure we're we're still cool. I'm gonna open up the entrance. He doesn't actually look very happy at that thought. <laughs> oh out. I can't help it if I'm an old drunk. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna open up the entrance and take a look inside. Looks like a church. Hello? Is anybody in here? It echoes real well. Jesus I have a Christ! With me. Professor! Damn it! Quiet, what? Bree. It's we... a church. Yes. Yes. And we just met the guy who sent us here for frack's sake. Don't. Please don't announce our presence to everyone here. Let's just take a look around. Seems empty. Huh. I don't know, nobody's talked back, best we can go in. Like, ch churches are considered public places, aren't they? Normally they're actually locked. It appears he didn't lock the door on the way out. I'm gonna take a careful look around while we wait for the others to pull up and get inside. There's my character's gonna examine. Yeah, my character's gonna examine the church's artworks and stuff, and try to find connections to history. Find many connections to history, possibly false history, but hey, history. <laughs> Me, I'm just looking for question? any clues to. Well, who the fuck is this bacon dude? And uh, any yeah. potential threats? Can my character determine? Because he said he was part of the Templar, so can my character determine any correlation between the artwork of the Templar and anything in particular? What is that music really. coming over someone's... Yeah, my roommate has the PS4 on, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep, there... Not everything is open, there's some doors that are locked. Uh, but a lot of it, there's a kitchen, there's a... You know... A little studying room, some classrooms... Sunday class. Oh, yeah. There's the podiums. There's a. Appears to be a gym of some kind. Yeah, I just so dump some macaroni yours? or. I don't know, rice in a pot, pour on some water, and put it on the stove. Go right ahead. Right yeah, on. My character's gonna. You know, my character's gonna look for a bedroom area. There doesn't appear to be any bedroom areas. Okay, then. I guess I'll come down to the kitchen where the girl's cooking. That's it should be. Did you say something, Professor? Oh, no. I'm just taking a drink. Glub, glub, glub. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to kill you one day, man. <laughs> Is he at the minus one to intelligence at Dex yet? He's been laying on that pretty Almost thick. Certainly. Almost. Certainly. I'm getting there. In fact, at this point, I think I'm gonna slump down on the couch and just kind of relax. All right. As I said, it's up to you guys where you go from here. Uh huh. Well, Bacon's yeah. back, so I'm assuming they pull up at some point. Jack uh, isn't here though. So well, yeah, they'll pull up here at some point though. You guys are at the church? Yeah. Yep. We're cooking your food. Don't worry, he got it from the altar. 
He doesn't have a job actually. So. <laughs> Drunk and sleep under the, right under the, uh, uh, the Holy Mary or whatever. Did they found this secret place with books and weapons? No. Oh. We didn't actually roll for perception investigation of the inside, did we? It's locked. Ah, I yes. told you some of the rooms were locked. I considered briefly going for the crowbar, but that seems rather rude. <laughs> I don't know, you got, you got a drunk professor underneath Holy Mary <laughs> in a drunken stupor. I don't know. I think we're past rude at this point. Are you actually passed out? Nah, I'm not passed out. He's semi-conscious, semi-not uh, there. Can no, I use like Dex Stealth to try and... Or, I don't know. What can I use to try and get the flask away from him? Uh, <laughs> just to see Dex Brawl. Checks here. I'm, Dex I'm Brawl? I'm that. Uh, yeah, yeah, do a Dex hard. Brawl. Okay. One success. You hit it out of his hand, but you don't grab it yourself. Two. You managed to grab it. But, uh, doesn't seem it's actually quite let go yet. He Prof seems to be trying to hold on. Give it back. That's mine. I, I think you've had enough for now. Now... No, now I, need the, I need the... I need it. See that? Big arm on the clock. When it's gone all the way around, you can have it back. But you're taking a break. Ah, you remind me of my old wife. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes, now let go, let go. We're gonna get some food, and you just let go of the booze, okay? I'm just gonna let go, and then the kind of curl up, and he's gonna reach in his bag and grab another flask. <laughs> I just stand over him and stretch out my left hand. Give it here. Oh, come on. This one's vodka. It's different. I'm sure it is. Grandpa said the same thing. Give it here. <laughs> Fine. I had it to <laughs> Daddy always used so to call this the devil's piss. You don't want to drink this, do you? I think that now my uh, the car pulls over, and I I check Loren, the crazy guy, arrive at the church. I was driving, right? You're high on tranquilizers. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I wouldn't recommend no. it. I would have to do a dex drive roll on you. Like, do I any of you? Driving. Do all the guns have drive? No, I would be driving. You know how to drive, right? Yes. Do you know how to drive in a full plate suit, though? Don't worry, he will take off the helmet and the gloves. And gloves the actually were alright. Boots are good, too. Just need the helmet off. Alright. Mess so with your peripheral too much. He just takes off the helmet. I just hand the flasks to the kid. Listen, buddy, I have... I saw how you looked at him. I I know you understand. Now, don't give these back to him until he can walk in a straight line, okay? It's very important. This music, now. <laughs> Does the kid react in any way, Epic? To what particularly? I think I missed whatever you were supposed to react uh, to. I'm saying, I just hand him both the flasks and say, Okay, I saw how you looked at him and I have a very responsible task for you. I, I need you not to give these back to the professor until he can walk in a straight line again, okay? Alright, I'll, I'll try that. What's in it? So that's special juice. Yes. Yes. 
But my daddy used to like that. Yes, it's what comes out when devil the devil goes number one. Okay, you're not supposed to drink that, you're too little. And it's still a bad idea when you're older. Yeah, the, my character just slumped over. Can I roll perception alertness to see if he has another flask? Yeah. Oh. All right, you want me to do one of those. There we go. And it appears he uh, was sneaking a last flask out of his coat and was about to drink it. <laughs> Professor! <laughs> Chris took so long to realize I was asking for a perception alertness, and then actually starts asking if he had another one. <laughs> This is my last one! I know, that's the point. Give it here. I better get paid for this. I'm sure you will be, by someone who isn't me. <laughs> Take the flask. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Just give it to the kid. Don't open these. Okay. <laughs> Can I smell the burning of food yet? You, you can smell the burning of the food. <laughs> I think it's at the perfect time to me yeah, to arrive. Yeah, you guys are good. Come on in. You smell the burning of macaroni, and you see Andrea rushing towards the kitchen. I suppose. <laughs> you see Jack like, with three masks in his hand and smell of alcohol. He just. Oh my god, please don't burn the church. And he goes to help her. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it just slightly singed. <laughs> he hears the professor do doing strange noises. Go close I think to the him. professor should go to sleep. He just sniffs the air, smelling tables. Just... What's wrong with your microphone, uh, Haval? Oh, there's a thing in the background, probably. So... Oh, stupid thing. One moment. Now that I brought the average looking dude. Uh, can we start the... I'm... I'm Alfred Warden, th uh, please and thank you. Wait, wait, before all this, let me... Oh. Quickly do Alfred. Something. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And you are? John Payne. My character will now be sleeping this... Drunk this off, so he's asleep now. Right, right, right. Okay, so everyone is like wherever. Epic, you there? Right, something's happening at the moment. Uh, in game, not out of game. Just need to go over some stuff. Okay. Were we supposed to stop a disaster by this point? Guys, no. I think we fucked up. I think the world's ending.
Right. Well. Yeah. So. What should we be doing? Is Demi here? There is a possibility. Here? Yeah, there is a possibility that I am here. Yeah, My character. Cool. My character stirs in his sleep. Goddamn Mongolians. <laughs> I think he's. Uh, we can have the discussion. Well, Morik, uh, make me a perception alertness roll while you're there, by the way. What do I have to do, sorry? Perception alertness? Uh, alright. <laughs> You botch. <laughs> okay. I'm drunk. I would be coming out at some point to get some food in him. With an unpoisoned glass of water. If he's willing to sleep it off on his own, there's no reason to purge him. Is an alcohol is an alcohol fun, folks? Let me guess. An Osferatu is draining him. Ah, might be. It does. Wait, the sun came up. Right. Did you remember to leave the doors open, Pekin? <laughs> I wasn't the last one to pass the doors. Oh gods. That would have been Demi then, wouldn't it? Demi or Alfred? Well, Alfred should be kept an eye on. I would hope that you're smart enough to keep an eye on him. Nah, yeah, they left him no. alone. Oh, God. No, he was talking to Alfred <laughs> when he entered the room, so it was Demi, nope. the last one. You said, uh, you guys said you, you were going to check on the food. Make sure the church wasn't burning down. Yes, but Alfred was with me. Uh, he, he you guys don't got common sense. They were talking in character, like introducing themselves, though. So they were at one point at least together. Unless he snuck off after that. Well, he said he was running off to check on the food. And Jackalor did not say he followed him. But they then suddenly started talking as if they were in the same place, so... Yeah. I'll just ignore the talking in the same place part. Oh, God damn it. So he was left with the crazy Jimmy. So what do uh, I see when I bring a plate of food to the professor? Uh, probably, uh, oh my god, Jackalogist, that was the Xtel. <laughs> Holy shit! That was a negative three! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Uh, oh, uh, he still did better than you in perception alertness. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I rolled that wrong anyway. Reroll it, do GM roll. Be quiet, nothing's happening! Because <laughs> I'm not sure I added some penalties and stuff. Oh fuck, that bloody shotgun. Oh god damn it. I walk outside, think that uh, Jimmy and Alfred are not on the place. Alright, so I'll just admit it, Jackler's just being really slow on rolling stuff, so. <laughs> uh, continue on! Uh, we'll just pretend whatever happens happens whenever it happens. Yeah, I would come out once I have the food shoveled onto pla a plate and I can just get some... I'm just trying to get some food in the professor to help him come down the booze a little faster. Hopefully. So apparently Jackalor has a good 4-5 minutes alone. Oh god, that is so bad, you fucked up! 
You had one <laughs> job! You had one job! What? Demi is with him? Demi did not enter the house? It was- he was- Demi the is AFK and thus, uh, well, was kind of AFK. But he said he was actually following you, not particularly no taking note of Alfred. So. And I carried the truck, so. Where's the black kid? Isn't- is he in the kitchen with us? No. He was left alone, in the gym, with a professor, oh, who was semi-conscious. Oh, fuck. Holy oh, shit. I just, <laughs> just walk, walk close to the professor, see, uh, looks at, sees Wallen, see, um, where did you left Alfred alone, Wallen? And Red turns around, a plate of hot food with a fork stuck in it, in one of her hands. <laughs> what? The John just face palms. Oh my god. Wait. My Where's my the. Where's the little boy? Oh my god, no. John just rushes He up is over. Yep, he is. He is actually over. Uh, he appears to just be laying down over on one of the pews. My character shuffles around in his sleep. Uh, uh, dumbass. Uh -huh. Can I see if there is any blood from where I'm standing? I don't think so. <laughs> oh. He reveals the last roll, of course. <laughs> I wasn't I was supposed to do that. I was, thought I was rolling GM roll, but whatever. Oh, you were so slow about all those rolls. Damn. Yes, I know. I was really unsure what, what I was supposed to be rolling the entire time. <laughs> well, it, it looks like he's just <laughs> sleeping. I yes. just, I'm going to go take this food to the professor then. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I keep the plate in my left hand and my right near the revolver just in case. <laughs> well done. John I just went to the up the church to see if the outfit was still there. Okay, I guess I walk in the room where the professor is. It smells well, heavily of alcohol. It was the same room. It was the same room. Ah, well then I walk up to him. Kick him slightly, nudge him with my foot. Professor! Uh, yeah. Breakfast. Oh. Oh, pancakes, yeah. Yes, pancakes. Macaroni shaped pancakes. Here you go. Oh, uh, uh, oh hey, hey there, John. John. Are you looking for, for yeah. someone? Put my whiskey in it, yeah. I go over to the kid and shake him lightly by the shoulder. Breakfast time, honey. <laughs> Seems like he's uh, pretty deep in the sleep. With a flask open. <laughs> Wake up, little guy. It's time to eat. Eh, he's not really responding. Not at all? He must be tuckered out. He was alone with Albert. I'm not buying that. I think I have enough sense not to buy that. Albert I... wasn't in there. What are you talking about? Yeah, I haven't been in there at all. Uh huh. Can I check for a pulse? Sure. Make me a perception medicine roll. Please, 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 please. There might be something there. Is he probably really faint? Uh, professor, can you come over here? <laughs> Get over here right <laughs> fucking uh, now! Holy shit, Joanne, get off! Oh, shit, where am I? There's something wrong with the kid. My character is gonna snap up, but he's gonna be kind of, you know, woozy. Huh? What? Just is... Get over here, you drug sodden fool! <laughs> My character comes over and just looks at the kid, and you know, first thing he's gonna do is check for a pulse. Take me a perception uh, medicine roll, difficulty 8. Is master. that with my neck? 
<laughs> Is that with my negatives? Uh, that's your, yeah, difficulty 8. Uh, and with but that doesn't affect that. perception. He might have a weak one. I'm saying it will for this particular case because okay. it's very, you know, very delicate. I like just he's gonna rub his, he's gonna rub his eyes and then put his hand on the kid's belly and then check for breathing. All right, just make me a Dex alertness roll on that case. Uh, difficulty four. This one's not hard. That's you like the weirdest roll I've ever asked for. <laughs> fucking Jackalore. Fucking Jackalore. I mean, Jesus Christ. For one second no. we left him alone. He's not? Yeah, at least we... No, he's not breathing. Oh, fuck. Um. Professor, is he alright? My character's eyes are gonna open. And I'm gonna grab the kid by the shoulders and shake him violently. <laughs> he doesn't respond. Oh God! My character is gonna. So John, no. what are you doing today? I draw my revolver and I point it at Jackalore. <laughs> I'm not in the room. He's outside. Like I'm. John, like I'm not in the room. John, Where is he? Alfred, go inside now. Do you even know what's like, going on in there? He did no, something he to the kid. Get the fucker! Hearing that, John just draws his sword. <laughs> what? 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 Get in here right fucking now! Go inside like, now, please. Watch out when you're pointing that thing. Alfred, go inside. Or I? I'm going, going. I'm going. <laughs> what do I need to roll for CPR? <laughs> uh, give me a strength medicine. Oh god. Oh god. Jim Watch, 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 watch. You just had to go and get drunk, right? He is drunk! What's the difficulty? The kid is gonna end up addicted to alcohol from the fumes! Don't give him mouth to mouth, you'll ruin his life! I'll just say a difficulty aid, go for it! Oh god. I got a one! He got a one! Nothing seems to happen. Do you want to do it again? My character's gonna try to determine what's wrong with him. You know, look him over, check everything. <laughs> Perception medicine. Oh god. Has John uh, come inside with Alfred? Yeah, but he's not inside. He's dead. Maybe, maybe it was the fumes. I don't know. Andrea's face is just stony cold. What did you do? Uh, wait, you did the perception medicine difficulty 6, not 8. Oh, sorry. Lucky bastard. Never mind. You well. Alright. Maybe it's the fumes! <laughs> what did you do, Alfred? What did you do? He's not breathing. What did you do? I'm just gonna continue to try to save him. Did you just kill him? Looking at uh, uh, looking at Professor who's doing some really weird shit with the uh, with the with the patient. I just woke up from a drunken stupor. I'm trying my best, damn it. Exactly. Wake <laughs> yeah. hey, up, oh, damn you! I've done. I've done nothing here. What are, what are you talking about? There doesn't seem to be any incisions or like cuts on the kid, right? Ah, uh, now that you can tell. I'm gonna look the kid over. Now check every crevice. You already, did you already made the check. Uh, you can do it again at a plus one difficulty. So, it's All right. 57 now. All right. uh, perception medicine. Yep. No, uh, it's, uh, well. It does may, probably wasn't the fumes. Thank God. What is that? It might have been the violent shaking, you know, out of character. <laughs> no, he was pretty much dead before that. I know that. No, he's dead. 
I'm pretty sure you can tell that by now. Ah, he's dead. Yeah, and Rhea is just... Rigor Mortis hasn't come in quite yet, but it's starting to get pretty stiff. Just... Yeah, pointing my gun right at now. Alfred, like, stony-faced. Explain just... yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna grab my shark. What are you accusing me of? I'm accusing you of murdering that boy because he knew something about what you had done. That's the least. Like, evidence is circumstantial. That's the idea I've ever heard. If I wanted, why would I murder him if I thought he knew? If I thought he knew something, that just points suspicion at me. John just puts. Uh, fish water, uh, what if on you murdered him just to go and have? Uh, what if someone of you guys murdered him just because you wanted uh, me dead? The yeah, kid the accused you. Says. Yeah, for no fucking reason. The kid it was. The kid was scared. Uh, scared we the lost dead, sight of you for one minute, and suddenly, at that exact moment, this boy dies. Out of character, do they even know that? Uh, not necessarily, but it isn't, uh... You w they knew that you didn't weren't there nearby when John realized you weren't nearby, but that was about it. I don't know if anyone was able to see you or anything like that. I haven't entered this room ever before! I think I need to roll Perception Empty on that. I'm debating spending Go a willpower point. Should I? To it. Spend two. Spend two, just because. I'm gonna spend a willpower point because fuck Jackalor. Two. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, seems like he's telling the truth. I don't fucking believe you. For no reason! I haven't ever entered this room! I just told you! I swear, you're just trying to kill me! All the evidence points to you, pick up. What evidence? All you have is her, uh, her completely unreasonable claims. John, what do you think? He probably did something. I have done nothing here! And how, out of character, how the fuck do you think I could have done anything? For all you know, I just told, told the 100% truth. It seems believable, but I don't trust you, and I know the others just rushed in the kitchen to check on the burning food. I was drunk, I'm was still kind of drunk. I was over the cowboy. Wasn't the, uh, wasn't the professor in here with him? Wouldn't he have noticed something? Oh, yes. Blame the drunk and sleeping professor. Valen. Was sleeping? Valen. Valen. What do you think? Do you trust this fucker? You're, still, you're talking about trust when we just met each other. That's like telling, uh, telling, the, uh, telling someone... I pull back uh, the uh, uh, hammer on my revolver. Yes, you're so good. This is a fucking lynching mob, not a fucking... Uh, this is a fucking lynching mob, isn't it? My character aims the shotgun at uh, 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 Jack Wood's character. This is- I knew it! This is a fucking lynching mob, not a fucking- You what, need you just to be mob. silent right now. Valen, what do you think? <sighs> How about you just pull that trigger and let us finish this and let's go to work, will we? So you're just going to murder me in cold blood and, and, and put my body somewhere. Just dump it. Huh? I wouldn't recommend leaving right now, Bacon. Yeah, now is a really bad time to leave. Well, here's the thing. The kid says, you know, you ate his parents and, you know... One thing, you I never just... said that to you. Oh, well, God. Uh, you don't know that. Didn't Chris You're actually the only one that doesn't have a clue about that, by the way. Wait, no, oh, wow. John I thought, doesn't I, I, I thought Chris told us, but okay, never mind. Yeah, I said no, that... Pretty... Just the professor. 
Oh, Although I think yeah. it were claimed at one point. Yeah, I think I did at one point. Uh, so you heard it once, maybe. But that's a bit different. Yeah. Explain yourself, Alfred. This doesn't have to escalate burp any more than it has to. What are you... I have done nothing wrong here. Okay, I'll humor you. How do we have a dead kid on our hands then? Explain that. I have no clue. In a church of all things. To be fair, you guys don't know how the kid's dead either. Oh, I fucking know. I might not have no, proof, but I fucking point. know. Don't know anything about the thing. That's what you're accusing me. <laughs> That's the thing. As far as Andrea's concerned, she knows who's guilty. You might know who's guilty. That's the point. You don't know how the kid died. That. He's just making don't have any evidence on him. Yeah, uh, this would never fly in court or anything similar to it. But you can believe he did it. Alfred, I I want to believe you. I don't want to just kill you. But if this is true, I can't just let you walk out of here either. That's so that's so make say but, something. Defend yourself. Because if you I don't... Am. I have not done this. I would never do this. I, I can't believe you. Not unless you can explain this. I'm not the guy who's the doctor here. I have no clue about medicinal do uh, things. I want to check the flasks I gave the kid to see if they are any more empty than they were when I gave them to him. Okay. Did he just suicide himself on alcohol, essentially? Well, looks like they're closed. Yes, but by the way, are they noticeably lighter? You didn't really have them that long, so you would need to make a... I'll actually just say a straight dex roll. Okay. And one success will do. But... They feel the exact same. Nothing happened to them. Well, he didn't drink himself to death. That's for certain. I, I have no background in medicine. I don't know this stuff. I say we tie him up and don't let him leave our sight. I sober up and see what's wrong with this kid. John, do you have any shackles? He's not here right now. I'll uh, answer for him. Yeah, I have some. Let me go grab him. You're, you're just going to tie me up? And we're going to keep a very close eye on you from now on. I guess we can kill you if you prefer that. Hey. Look. All right, guys, you are in a church. Uh, spilling blood in the holy place is not a good idea. I yeah. might have some problems with this. Thank you for Sorry, letting us know that when we decide to kill him, if we decide to kill him, we'll take him out to a fucking garbage dump. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. That feels better, yeah. Also, do you have a gag? Uh, you're you're not going to allow hand. me to defend myself in the future? You're just going to decide whether to kill me in cold blood or not? Without any f uh, form of evidence or, or something or anything. Majority rules. Burp. Yeah, a drunk guy. Someone that, is prob that seems to have no idea what she's doing, and like two people are say remaining silent. I'm trying not to, to fair, let Jackal. She or does seem very confident in what she's doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I seem very confident in what I'm doing. I'm trying not to let jackalors 
asshole voice sway me because I want to pull the trigger so bad right now. <laughs> yeah, that's out of character, and that's what I'm what I'm really upset about right now is that you're u using your out of character justice to justify killing me. Right now. I'm really not. I don't really <laughs> give a fuck about the kid. He was kind of annoying me. <laughs> Frankly, I even understand you. I would have done the same in your place, but. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather not have killed uh, out of character. I'd rather not have killed a, a, a kid because. Aha! So like, you did do it. it. Yes, uh, out of character. Uh, it would have drained his willpower for the longer this went on. So. Well, that's. I didn't really expect you guys to actually take the kid with you. <laughs> 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 this was gonna be a beautiful way. We haven't even started the main quest. <laughs> I'm rolling it like three hours in. Yep. <laughs> what an interesting special. Yeah, we'll start the quest later. We're gonna deal with this. So, the evil guy is dead yet? No. no. We're tying him up. Yet. Unless you want to vote for killing him right now. Uh, I, 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 I vote yes. You're a fucking asshole, that's why. You want to kill me out of character as well, so I don't think your vote should count for anything. You actually How said you me. wanted to kill me out of character. You didn't to bitch about anything. So, John, is, he's a very nice person, so he will go to our friend and ask him, What is, what is your religion? Because we're... I only worship the one true God. Please <laughs> roll against <Nice>. him. <laughs> See if he's telling the truth. He, I, he could be telling the truth. We never went over his religion, so. I only believe in the one true God. Who's that, Muhammad? Oh God. <laughs> no, one true God and Jesus Christ. That's, that's what I said. Huh. It's not what you said. Yes, yeah, so I said one true, the one true God and Jesus Christ. Is that what you said? Yes, I just said that. Yep, you're. It's all good. Don't worry. It's all right. Unless he wants to roll to. Is he actually going to roll against me or not? So he just. Uh, I see. I think that we should not kill him now. There's not enough proof. To kill him, but we need to just keep an eye on him. Just uh, yes, John. You. Isn't that what I asked you to do? And now a kid is he dead. Now, he, for all you know, it might have been natural causes at this point. Yes, that he died what? of old age <laughs> at eleven. <laughs> I have no clue what the, what's going on. I already told you. That's what I said. For all we know. And what you seem to know is that you don't know jack shit about this stuff. Guys, here's the thing. We are about to undertake a dangerous mission. We're possibly going into battle. If we are dragging this asshole with us, he could get us all killed. And there's been like hundreds of disappearances. Maybe we should just do what needs to be done here. Just don't you're going to kill me in cold blood because you don't you because you're not sure. Hey John, do you have a dungeon? I mean you're a knight and all. Like you're just gonna go put down a shotgun and uh sober up a bit and look over the kid's corpse a bit more. No, I don't have a dungeon, but I maybe I have a place that would could tie him up. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we I... just uh, well enough at least. I don't trust him to stay tied up if one of us isn't keeping an eye on him. Take me with you, then, goddammit! Just send me first, then. I could call my superiors and say that. Uh, we need someone to look after a guy that is a possible murderer and was even I am not a possible murderer. You have no, literally no evidence. And you're just making uh, stuff up at this point. 
Well, I think it, that is very suspicious that the kid that knows you suddenly drops dead after we left you for a couple minutes. I was with you the whole... I was with you there. No, you was not with me. You, you, were you were out, outside when I rushed to see what was happening in the kitchen. Yeah, and then I came to you. Like, I was staying outside for just a little bit, and then I came right after you. I would try my luck with perception. Jackalore, what's your role? <laughs> Don't investigate <laughs> No, you're the goddamn vigilante, bitch! <laughs> you just tried to end on Lynch now. Let me try I'm trying to keep Jackalore alive because I think from my character's point of view it makes a lot of sense for her to just shoot him. I'm just saying. Yes. I what did you say? Or something something I kept him alive, something. Something like I'm trying uh, to find so reasons you not to shoot you. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm giving obvious reasons. You have no literally no fucking evidence that it could have been me. No, I have evidence to believe that you are a lying piece of shit and you're good at it because you wow, well, I saw through you once and now you're... That was like the once and now you're continuing to lie. And clearly I can't say, trust anything That's you have like to say. That's like someone telling the truth and you're like, eh, I don't buy it because I didn't buy it once. Huh. That's one time he lied to me, I, di I didn't buy it, but this time he has to be lying to me because... He Here's the problem, Jackalore. The story that says that you're a murderer and you murdered the kid's parents, it fits together. The story you're trying to spin that you're innocent simply because it doesn't really fit what I've seen up to this point. And when things don't fit, someone's bullshitting you. Like as far as you know, I can't have killed. Uh, I can't have killed him. Why would I assume that? Because I, I already told you that I haven't been in the room. That doesn't mean I believe you. That means you just sound convincing to me. She was. She, she was cooking. There, I was passed out drunk. It was like a family moment. And, and like you could always just uh, say that, uh, uh, that the bodge caused him to see some uh, see someone else, but nope. God damn. Jackal. I didn't see anybody. You can't control how my character interprets it. You can just roll well and make you yourself seem convincing in that moment. Actually, uh, the professor uh, could have sworn that the kid was uh, breathing right before everyone else entered. So it would have had to be damn fast. Like, impossible yeah. fast. My oh, character is supernatural. My character is going to be quickly examining the body, and he's going to realize this, and he's going to look at the rest of them and say, Well, actually, now that I've got some time to look over the situation, if Alfred had any chance to do this, he would have had to been supernaturally fast. He was breathing before anybody else came in. Okay. So says your drunken mind at that moment. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't do it. John, could you hold him gun. still for a second? I won't take out one of my silver bullets, pull aside the bandage and press it into the wound, see if he reacts. Okay. Nothing happened. Ouch. I'm just... Eyeing him carefully, looking for signs of werewolfness. My character's, gonna, my character's gonna check the kid's neck area for, like, you know, bite marks. I pull There's back, nothing. put the bullet away. Why don't you just take two steps out into the sunlight on the porch there? Sure. <laughs> I go into the sunlight. Is he burning? No. I, I don't think I'm burning. Another minute. <laughs> like, I'll stand here for as long as you want me to. Guys, I have a radical suggestion. 
We drown him in a bucket of water. If he doesn't drown, he's a vampire. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we can do this dwarf fortress style. <laughs> what is oh, this chant? We're not living in the medieval times. This isn't a witch hunt. <coughs> Two people are medieval. John, John he's outside. Sure? John, he's outside the church right now, isn't he? Is God gonna have a problem with this? I instantly go behind, uh, behind, uh, uh, behind, uh, behind there. You're not shooting me, that's for certain. Dude. <laughs> <sighs> Look, I just... I, I, my head hurts, I'm gonna go eat some rice, and try to think this over. Yeah. John, we cannot get someone that can be innocent. Yes, we lack enough proof to blame him, besides being very suspicious the situation. Fine. Albert, if I notice that you have left my sight, again, I'm gonna shoot you the next time I see you after that. Let's just get on with this. Okay, okay, I'll just... Just don't point the gun at me again. Alfred! And yes, I'm Alfred. Alfred doesn't care. Oh, his name is Alfred, like my butler, because I'm re I was rich. And now I fight crime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't fight crimes. Let's put it that way. No, I fight, and I had the butler called Alfred. Okay, but yeah, yeah, Batman. Now, once uh, once once my character sobers up a bit, he's gonna look over the kid's body for any occult signs of supernatural stuff dealing with vampires that he can pick up. Oh, I hadn't. Damn it! As good as an idea that is, no. Aww. Uh, what do you got? Uh, what did you put? Difficulty? Whatever difficulty you want. There's nothing there, so... Demi wanted to inject you with a lethal dose for a mortal of medicine and see if you manage to survive that through supernatural... You know, strength. Yeah, I'm not fucking... I'm not fucking to take that fucking shit. Uh, I got nothing. I don't know what the fuck happened again. Whatever it was, wasn't supernatural. Mm. You know. uh, I rolled John. once to check him for a pulse, right? Yep. Can I roll again to check this time for what might have killed him? Perception medicine, I mean. If you want to, go ahead. Would this count as a second roll for the same thing, or is this a different it's thing? It's a then? different one. Okay. Oh god, it's fucking damn it. Nope, nothing. It, you can't find anything. I want to keep looking. Just frantically John. looking for any sign. Up the difficulty each time you do it again. John just asked Andrea, did you notice any reduce of your medicine or something like that? I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> Does two tell me anything more? Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything. It's oh, like John. it's like he lost the will to live. It's it's like someone force choked him and he lost the will to live. I I I just <laughs> <laughs> I know the reference. It's pretty funny. Good good job, Chris. You're gone. You're a church man. I can see. Is there any way we could do a proper burial for him? Like, what's the worst that would happen if I roll at 9? I'm gonna bosh and it's gonna be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. Now 9 plus 1. Uh, no, I'm not gonna go that high. No, no, no more, you're done. Yeah, I, I'm not, I just... No, at this point she would give up. Unless you're medicine, you would be able to roll it. I do have... Well, Demi might not, yeah. Yeah, I, have, I have one in medicine. Yeah, you can totally roll that. That's very little of life here. I'll totally not botch. Let me one roll. Come on. 
we might as well blame a vampire on it, right? Oh. Even though it was daylight. Maybe the... I didn't see your roll. Oh, yeah, I didn't okay. see your roll either. Uh, okay, uh... Difficulty would be sick. Hmm? Oh... Yeah, let's you not continue, nothing. I'm like... Let's not continue, let's not be that... Let's not, let's not be Chris. Hey, I had to try. I promised to protect the kid and I failed. Oh, well, fuck you too then. Yay! So... I, I can bury him here on the church, under the altar. That is not under the altar. Why? That was the tradition of burying people under the altar. It used Some to Catholic be the tradition, church. but they don't have ground there anymore. Oh yeah, so it's just the floor. There's a backyard to the church. Well, it's still better than pouring him. Just burying him in the concrete at the foundation of yeah. some skyscraper. You'd have to get permission from your elders and everything, and that's not very likely. I don't even know what religion the kid was. But he died fighting what? evil. <laughs> he died like a true Christian. Anyway, yeah. we should... I this one, we should You're split the video, man. though. That's right. Awesome. Yeah.